It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome to Hybrid Spiderini. Um, so today's video, I decided to play a few of my own little old games. Uh, so I wanted to go through a few of those, just uh, see see how things have changed. Maybe try a few things that maybe some some of my newer fans haven't seen, or people who are just sort of coming across my channel. Just have a look at some of the cool things that I've made. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of showing off, <laughs> but also I just want to play some games and it's not Sunday yet. So, um, Spiderini, pretty basic thing, pretty obvious what it actually is supposed to replicate. You shoot a uh, string or rope or web and you swing off of it. Jump. And of course no sound as per usual with my demos. But the thing, the cool thing with this one is... It's hybrid presence system, which means full arms, physics, and arms and hands and everything. And of course, that is really cool because even the ropes, which aren't actually physics objects, but they are physics joints. So, for example, if I pull up onto this wall here, for example, I can shoot one web there, one web here, and now uh, I'm pulling strong, but I can't pull in. They're actually just sort of rubber bandy well not rubber bandy unlike sort of most swingy games which are designed to feel like that now a lot of people didn't actually understand how to really play this properly um, and i decided i wanted to show you a little bit on how to do that as well so basically the thing with this because it's pure physics in terms of the actual ropes and stuff um you can't just shoot over there and expect gravity to somehow stop existing, right? You can't just do that. You have to shoot quite high up above you, and you can't just pull in by reeling in. Look how slow it is. I did that on purpose. I didn't want you to use the reel to, you know, pull yourself about in the world. You shoot, and then you actually pull your hand down really hard, like that. You see how it pulls you? Especially when you're holding on here, and then you do this, and you pull, you can actually see it pull you up like that you see now of course climbing over walls and stuff you have full physics arms and this is arms only so this is sort of an early version of the hybrid presence and you can see it does actually just sort of clamp on properly and the arms move naturally over the edge which makes it really easy for you to mess around the other thing as well that's really cool is of course you can sort of push off the walls which makes it extra cool when you find an accidental gap that I made where you can use your hands to slow yourself down in the gap. Really freaking cool. Let me do some quick swinging and then we'll move on to the next game. So first thing I'm going to do here, a little bit of swinging. I do apologize for sudden rotational movements. I don't have too much of a, a good setup here because I only have the two sensors. And only one of them is connected right now for this uh, this part of the video because I got a little bit lazy and I just got back from work and yeah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm using hybrid for running except I, I ramped up the speeds that you can get to. And um, let me try and make a quite a cinematic video. So... Not much talking in this one. Yeah. What will be the next game I play? Probably the old Mario VR uh, game, which unfortunately did get taken down. Um, but that's what happens when your game appears every time someone types Mario VR in Google, even though Nintendo was ooh, releasing their own official Mario VR, which, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, that's understandable. Yeah, take mine down. That, that, that makes sense. Yeah, so a lot of people, like I said, didn't really understand how to swing and stuff on here. You can't just expect gravity to disable itself just because you think you're swinging. You have to shoot above you. You have to use 
the you know motion of your body to actually pull yourself along And there's a little bit of analog stick control as well in air, so you can move right, you can move a little bit to the left. It's not that much, but that's the whole point. I don't want it to impact so much that it loses its it, the, the actual necessity for you to, to understand the physics of swinging. Which is what I wanted to capture here. On top of the fact that I want to, you know, test the limits of ragdoll-based character control. Which... Clearly, they're quite capable, aren't they? Nice and balanced. Nice and capable. <laughs> Once again, as per usual, using my mouth to make the sound effects. Yeah. And I think that's about the end of this part of the video. On to the next game. And we're back. This time we are in Mario VR or Mario Bros VR or I actually call it SMB VR. This one's the sort of um, game that actually got uh, copyright struck. Um, understandably so. And of course it's just a, a basic sort of move around and one level demo type thing. I never intended to make anything more than one level. As you can see, I never did actually make anything more than this. And uh, this pipe is the one that you go down uh, to get to the little bonus area. It's actually hand based as well, you can punch things. And of course there are Goombas everywhere. Now I actually modelled the Goombas myself, the custom models. Um, which I made for the um, Odyssey Experience VR build that I was uh, that I didn't actually put out, and the coins themselves you can pick them up from your hands directly. Uh, this one, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to play um, as I'm not going to re-upload it. Of course, that would be ridiculous. Um, I really like doing this with this one, so you can just go bang, bang. Ah, bang! <laughs> Love it. Uh, what are you two doing? Hey, get out of here. Now, there's actually pointers that you can switch on from your fingers, and those are to select hidden things like that little purple pipe there. So, as you can see, it popped and um, vanished once I grabbed it with the little target. Now, I'm going to pop over to here. This is the pipe that you come out from when you go through the secret bonus area. Which is not a secret because this is actually an exact replication and you can see that's why it's all straight. It's an exact replication of the um, original first level of Super Mario Bros. Literally exactly the same. I, I made it block for block. So, let's just grab the pole. And uh, as you can see, thank you for playing. And uh, there you go, you get these little bonus items to find. Uh, it's literally, it doesn't give you anything special, they just find things. You've got small brick blocks, tiny brick block, gold brick block, red, blue and yellow Tetris shapes, gold warp pipe, which is over there by the way, Click. and the purple warp pipe. Now, every video that I saw of this game, people found everything except for one thing, the tiny brick block. I'm going to go through the uh, level now backwards and show you where everything is because most people will never get to play this again. As you can see, I just clicked on the red uh, Tetris shape there. There's the golden brick block. Did I get the gold pipe? Yeah, I got the gold pipe. <laughs> I love hitting these things. Right. So this is using hybrid presence once again. Well, hybrid locomotion, which is really easy to use. There's a nice hidden small brick block over there. And... Uh, um, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? There's the blue one. Tetris shape. Hey, move out of my way. Uh, we already got the purple warp pipe. I am playing a game. Yes, I'm playing, playing a game. Yes, I'm playing a game. I am playing, playing a game. I am playing a game. I am, I am playing my games. There's the yellow one. Where is the tiny brick block? The one that nobody found. Let me show you. 
Well, let's go through the little bonus pipe. Whee! Uh, grab all the little bonus coins. Got more to get through with this video, so I'm just going to skip through. Now, if you go back here, sort of halfway through the level, and you go down this little gap. <laughs> As you can see now, on the left hand side, there is a tiny little baby brick block. There is the tiny brick block that literally nobody found. Now we've got everything and like I said it doesn't give you anything bonus special or anything like that. It just gives you uh, a little checkbox again. Ooh, I just missed the jump there. Ah. Right, and that ends this part of the video. As you can see, one purple brick block, um, purple warp pipe, gold warp pipe, the three check marks for the Tetris shapes, the gold brick block, and the small and tiny brick block. The one that nobody found. <laughs> Thanks Larry Inc. 64 and QMU for the music for this one. And uh, let's go over to the next level, which will be <laughs> Sonic VR. <laughs> Welcome to Sonic VR! In this game, unfortunately, there's a few problems with the frame rate uh, in that you can't run fast if your frame rate is below maximum, <laughs> which means right now I'm running pretty slow, um, which is very unusual because I remember playing this on my GTX 650 Ti and that thing would run it properly um, at the low resolution that I'm running at. So this is actually 0.7 times resolution. You can see I'm not really running very well, which is ridiculous. Yeah, there was some real problems with this. Right, I'm gonna try and run a bit, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of low resolution right now. I'm clearly not running as fast as it should be. Go watch my other video. Because <laughs> this is pretty terrible. <laughs> I might skip this one. I, I don't know, unfortunately, really. Let me try and force it to run if I can try and figure out where the sort of problem is. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to, to run this properly with um, with my low-end laptop. So on to the next one, which unfortunately also uses the walk motion system. Uh, but uh, that one is more of a physics demo, so we're gonna lose uh, we're gonna lose Sonic VR this time round. Off to walk motion demo physics something hmm this one seems to work fine right okay so welcome to the walk motion demo this one was actually a physics demo um, using the triggers for grabbing things which is also pretty ridiculous but this one was uh, literally my first sort of physics demo um, we're not gonna do the sort of fun area that I originally made we're going to look at these travelators they're quite cool anyways yeah, so this was a game where I actually did something which uh, which was a bit weird, where I sort of had the trees act as ragdolls, so you can sort of you can stand on the tree like this, and then jump and bounce off it like this, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna climb this castle. So yeah, okay, yeah, the walk motion system still pretty terrible once again. Um, now I'm actually running on medium mode, which means the LODs are gonna be pretty. Low. Yeah, this is the problem. I really should have brought my computer to Germany. Um, very bad idea using only a laptop for VR. It works fine for my newer stuff because, you know, I learned how to write code properly. But, yeah, now I get what people were saying about this uh, having weird grab logic. It's actually because of frame rate. Yeah, so I was lucky. Oh my god, I can't even see what that thing is looking like. There we go, oh my god. Oh god, the draw distance is so low. Anyways, <laughs> I guess it functions. It functions? God, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get the problems. Okay, this is frustrating, oh my god. Right, this is what I get, playing old games, yeah. As you can see, my newer stuff is clearly far more functional. Yeah. I have a feeling Microsoft's uh, game bar that kills my performance, by the way, is actually stopped recording. Has actually stopped recording, but... 
Let's see if I can climb this anyway. This is gonna be difficult. <laughs> oh god. You can't aim things right because it doesn't aim correctly. I don't know whether I grabbed it. Did I not grab it? I didn't grab it. Let's go the easy way. Which is not that easy by the way. I know I'm not playing that right now, but it's a better tune than nothing. Right. Yeah, this whole castle was made out of prefabs, which is not, well, not prefabs, sorry. I said that the last time I made the video on this. Primitives. It is made out of primitives. Right. Which is not a good idea, of course. It really looks quite cool when you're checking this place out from up here. Yeah, there's still quite a bit to go though. <laughs> oh god, went the wrong way. <laughs> and a roll. Oh, oh missed. <laughs> missed again. <laughs> Come on. Down I go. Down all the way. Oh god. <laughs> Skip. Let's take it the easy way. We're gonna take it the easy way. Climb the tree. Climb the tree. I sound like Wario. Climb the tree. Climb the very badly uh, collided tree. And here we are, this beautiful ladder over here that gets you right to the top, <laughs> all the way. <laughs> I missed. I can't believe I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> climb, 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 climb it all the time. Right, climb, 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 climb. This is where we're going. Right up. Oh, this is the problem with not having physical arms, is that your hand, your tracking obviously goes straight through, and then nothing grabs, nothing grabs, because you've gone through the ladder. Physical arms are the way. Physics is the route to best VR, but it has to be done right. It has to be freaking done right, and then everything's all right. We are now. At the top-ish of the castle. The rest of the way is actually damn near impossible to do. Oof. I could try. I could fail. <laughs> this video was a failure. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I made the rope. Right. Swing. 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 It all around. And then... What? Oh my god. One, two, ninety-five. Oh god, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> oh, you can skip that bit. Right, one, two, three, four, five, seven, ninety-five, eighty-two, Oof. one and a half. Because that is how numbers go. Deal with it. I made it! I made it! <laughs> I am getting crazier. I am going loopier. I am climbing this ladder. It is not a ladder. It's a rope. <laughs> One, eight, seven. <laughs> One, nine, twenty. <laughs> I made it! I made it to the top of the castle. Ah, hoo, hoo. Ah, hoo, hoo. Woo I can't see the hay bales. Ah, dead. Right. Thus ends this video. I do apologize for the over glaring of this stupid Microsoft Xbox game VR or DVR. It's the only thing that lets me record with some kind of performance. 
and it has the worst brightness issues I have ever seen in a recording app. Oh, it's horrible. Why is it so horrible? Why is everything impossible? I'm on a freaking good, uh, I don't swear, laptop. I am on a good, powerful laptop. Get paid money for this stuff. <sighs> That's the end of this video. Go back, scroll, rewind, rewind, watch the Spider-Man thing again, watch the Mario bit. That stuff's better than all of this. I just bounced off these guns. Right, yeah, that, that stuff's, um, ugh, I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. This is why I make new videos and I don't repeat my old stuff. I don't play games I've made because I know they're going to be terrible. <laughs> yep. The past is a terrible place to be. Off we go. Ooh, that's a bouncy ball. I didn't know that. I, I made this and I didn't know that. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.